Grumpy Cat's attitude has been a popular internet meme, but having a cat like Sir Grumpy is not what most new kitten parents have in mind for their babies. Most of them just want to raise a sweet, friendly cat. But just like human children, cat temperaments differ. Cats can show less affection periodically, meaning they are just going through a period after which they will resume their habits. Some cats show less love if they become stressed for any reason or if there is a significant change in their environment or sick. However, this video contains tips that can help you train your kitten to enjoy human contact, be less anxious around noises and unfamiliar objects, and generally grow into a well-socialized cat. My cat is not affectionate anymore. Is that normal? It is impossible for a cat, dog, or any other living being, to go through life without changing behavior in time. Experience, personalities, knowledge, training, and environment all contribute to forming the character of our loved pets. Cats go through periods, and those periods are also going to change even the way they are behaving with us, not necessarily because they do not love us anymore. At times, they show their love for us in different ways. You have to observe your cat, see what he is doing and why he has changed. For example, a kitten goes through a crazy time when he is running, jumping, chewing, and cuddling. A grown-up cat can start to become more independent and reserved, going from periods when he is cuddling more and times when he doesn't even bother to come near. Besides their normal shifts in behavior, are there reasons that can make cats less affectionate toward us? There can be environmental factors and other factors that can decrease affections in our cats. Here are some common reasons that can make our cats less affectionate. Stress. Sometimes cats become stressed and go into hiding or decide to keep their distance from us and everyone in the house. Stress is caused in cats by changes. Cats like to have stable routines, and they get used to their family members. They trust certain people to roam in the house, they know the smells, they know have their usual places to spend their time. If anything changes, if a new person comes into the house, if you move with your cat, if the furniture is moved around, and similar, your cat can become stressed. In this case, you have to try to remove any possible changes. It could be even a new perfume, a change in soaps, or shampoo. Possibly your cat doesn't like the smell of it. You have to look hard to find what is suddenly wrong. You pet them wrongly. Often cats come around purring, pretending we scratch them and pet them on demand. There are places that they like us to scratch and pet. Typically, those places are the same for every cat. Some cats, though, may want it done differently. This means that you have to know what cats like and observe your cat and see his reaction when you pet him. If you know that he enjoys being touched in a certain way, do it each time he comes to you. On the other side, if you purr him wrongly, your cat may decide to come to you less often. Therefore you must know how to touch your cat. You are too clingy. You have changed the way you relate to your cat. If you have become more clingy with him, if you try to pick him up more often or impose him to do things that he doesn't want, your cat may decide to keep his distance. Cats do not like to be forced to cuddle or to go to places they do not want. Somehow, the more you keep away from them, the more they come to you. There is no point in forcing a cat to sleep next to you. He will most probably leave the second you put him there. The more you try to force a cat, the more you stress him, and the more he will go away and keep his distance. Health. A cat that is in pain or sick may decide to stay away from you. If your cat suddenly decides to stay away, observe him and see if he has anything else wrong with him. It may be that he is sick and has pains. In this case, you have to bring him to the vet. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Don't treat your kitten like an adult. Ideally, kittens need to spend the first eight weeks with their mom and siblings. If that isn't possible, you may need to bottle feed, cuddle, and nurture your little kitten. This will require nearly round-the-clock care, the younger the kitten is. If your kitten is younger than eight weeks, the same care you give to ensure its good health will help it to begin to rely on and trust you as its human parent. Bear in mind that at this age, you will need to bottle feed special kitty formula to your kitten every three hours until it is ready to wean and begin solid foods, a gradual process cuddle and keep the kitten warm the same way its mother and siblings would if they were all together. You'll even need to help a kitten under this age go to the bathroom by gently stimulating its bowels as its body may not be able to do it alone just yet. Keep your kitten clean and away from other pets and older cats as its immune system is not strong enough, and it may not yet be old enough to start kitten vaccinations. Gentleness breeds gentleness. 
Regardless of how many weeks old your kitten is, you will need to treat it with gentleness if you want it to learn the best way for it to interact with others, whether animal or human. Use these gentleness tips to condition your kitty so they trust you and learn about gentleness. Stay close and cuddle frequently, keeping it warm and cozy. Pet frequently and affectionately. Use a soft voice and say its name frequently. Groom your kitten frequently so it gets used to being brushed and cleaned. Engage in frequent playtime as it gets older and more energetic. As kittens get older, they have a lot more energy to spare, so playtime is an important way to help it socialize and interact with you and other humans in the home. Reward good behavior. Kittens can't be naughty they just do what comes naturally. So, don't get angry or yell at your kitten. Instead, redirect your kitten to a toy or scratching post if they bite or scratch during play, don't censure. In fact, make sure to have safe, quiet places for your kitten to rest if it becomes overwhelmed and a designated scratching post for it to use when its natural cat inclination strikes. After a fun playtime, reward your kitten with a special treat and lots of affection if it has behaved well. Just be sure not to give too many treats at a time so it doesn't become overweight. Limit them to less than 10% of your kitten's daily caloric intake, with the other 90% being a highly nutritious kitten food. Socialize and condition. It's very important not to isolate your kittens, particularly once they've been weaned and had their vaccinations, or they won't be used to people and other animals as adults. As they grow beyond 8 weeks of age, make sure to include them in more appropriate social interactions with humans and other animals in the home. For instance, introduce them to friends and family. Introduce them as early as possible to gentle, cat-friendly dogs. This can help a kitten grow out of her instinctive fear of dogs and make the home more peaceable when both types of pets are in the home. Play music, vacuum, and do other normal, noisy activities so they get used to them early and aren't afraid of loud noises later on. Provide lots of playtime with toys and safe objects like boxes, but be sure to be personally involved. Be present for playtime. The importance of personal engagement with your kitten cannot be understated. The more you and other family members are directly involved in face-to-face, hand-to-paw playtime, the easier it will be for your kitten to engage with other humans in a friendly way. Keep your kitten healthy. Behavior is often a secret indicator of how your cat feels. If she is feeling under the weather, she may not want to socialize or be affectionate. So, keeping your kitten healthy and providing it with the best nutrition for growth and development will help you raise an affectionate cat. Ensure your kitten gets all of the essential preventative veterinary care like vaccinations and deworming and keep them on a healthy diet so they always feel their best and act their best. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.